Hello people, this is Mark from Carrot Change Works. I trusted you well. Guys, in the uh, this particular video, as far as the purpose is concerned, the purpose series, I want to talk to you about what is the purpose of money. And right from the offset, I'm going to say to you that the one and only purpose that I found with money is is exchange. It is a means to exchange um, from one commodity to another via the means of money. And this is how it works. Person goes to work and he earns money because it's his job. He does whatever. From there he takes that money and he goes to the shop and he buys food and clothes and whatever else because he needs or wants said items. So he gives them money as an exchange for some other commodity. The shop, however, then takes that money to the wholesaler and gives them the same money for produce that they put on the shelves. And then there's that exchange. The wholesalers then take that money and gives it to the farmers who gives them bread, milk, meat, eggs, whatever the case might be. And then there's this exchange again. And then the farmers, on the other hand, go to their suppliers for feed for the cattle or new cattle. And then there's that exchange yet again. So you can see from that little example that money is nothing more than just a circle of exchanges from one person to the next. And in the end, it's going to come back to the original purpose because of the particular service and job that they do. And that's it. That's pretty much what money is used for. Giving pieces of plastic paper and some kind of metal to someone that we've attached a particular value to in order for us to purchase something that we need or what we want. A slight caveat with money is simply this. You're going to have a lot of it and you control the money not a pro it's not a problem, it's a good thing. You can do a lot of good with that. When you've got money, you can donate it to charities, you can help people out, you can buy things. You can do a tremendous amount of good with a lot of money. The super rich, their problem with money is that very often money controls them and it is suggested that the love of money is the root of all evil now we have to bear in mind that money is nothing more than an exchange for something that we want or something that we need so now one needs to consider what can the super rich do what could they even want that the rest of us don't. And of course it's power, status, influence, position, things like that. So what they will do is they will take that money that could be used for really good moral activities, shall we call it, and they exchange that money for things like corruption, status, power, influence, that very often results in some kind of evil, some kind of bad and negative, negative outcome that comes as a result of the love of money being the driving force to get rich and somewhere in life. 
Now I'm yet to see anybody who has got a intense hunger and thirst to become rich and use that money for selfish gain, for selfish intent and stuff like that. For them to be happy and satisfied with life and, you know, just feel like they are human. Because how can anything that is evil result in anything that is good? It's polar opposites. And like I said before, there's no problem with being rich. It's a good thing to be rich. I'm not rich yet. And the little bit of money that I do have, I tend to use wisely because I have no love for it. My love lies somewhere else. Now, how do you know whether you are falling in the trap of the love for money or just love what money can buy? It's a very fine line in my eyes. I suppose in many ways, and this is only about an idea, is when you are craving money to do things, when you are using money for the exchange that it gives and it provides to promote you higher and higher to a place of influence when all that money does is an exchange when you hear people talk you will hear some people speak depending on of course the context of what's going on is they've sold their soul what for they've sold their soul for money, reputation, stuff like that. My friend, I'm going to encourage you to be rich, be wealthy, give freely, but never let money control you, never fall in the trap of loving money. Love the things that you can do because of it, not loving it. Big difference. So the purpose of money really, I suppose if I could, it is there to bless other people, to provide and give for the less fortunate. Then blessings follow, the good follows you. But not the other way around when you love it. That's it for this particular video, my friend. I hope it's made you think and realize that maybe I am a, a lover of money. When you see negative things follow your financial path. If it's done anything good for you, this particular video made you think. Please do all the YouTube admin and share and subscribe and let this little community keep it going and keep it growing. But for now... This is Mark from Carlos Chainsworks and I'll speak to you soon.